If you've always wanted to know how to insert a single column of links like I use for my daily pages, stay with me because today that's what I want to teach you how to do. Well, hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. And today I am bringing you one of the most requested videos. I have done this information before in a longer video, but today I just wanna isolate this link column table that I'm gonna create for you that I use for my daily pages. It's going to be quick, it's going to be easy, and I hopefully you guys will learn something new. If you like this content, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Hit that like button below. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. Uh, turn on your notification bells, and please feel free to share this video with anyone that you think that might find it interesting. All right, well, with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump into the computer. I want to keep this short and simple today. All right, well, you can see here on my screen, this is my 2025 planner uh, that I create for myself. And this is my daily page. This one happens to be for the month of November, November 18th. We're not there yet, uh, so it is completely blank. But I wanted to show you what people are always asking me about. And that is this set of links right here on the side. Everybody wants to know how I created those links. So that's what we're going to do, okay? All right, I'm gonna jump over into my test notebook uh, so that I can show you, um, you know, in a clean space without messing up my own planner. So here in my test notebook, uh, I have a new section that I've created for today's video. And, you know, I just have the normal, when you create a new section, it comes up and says new section. I haven't named it, I haven't done any of that. I'm not worried about all that today. And I have my regular blank untitled page, okay? All right, so the first thing that I want to do, if I'm gonna be setting up those daily pages and that whole column, what I wanna do is I want to uh, create a template, okay? And so I've already done that. I've showed you guys how to do that. Let's look at uh, insert a template which is right here. And you'll see there's all kinds of page templates that I have created. If I click on the bottom, page templates, this whole section comes up on the side. There are some built-in templates in uh, OneNote. Uh, so for example, there are some academic templates, like here's one for lecture notes, okay? Maybe you like that one. You see when I click on that template, it already inserts a page there so that you can see that, okay? I want to look at one of my templates and I'll show you a couple of those that you might choose to do. Um, let's see, uh, there's one for project plan. That might be one that you know I want to use you know, in a project type notebook, that would be really cool. Maybe if I'm creating a travel journal, maybe I want my page to be you know, something that looks like this that is a travel journal. I think that's pretty cool. Um, Maybe I just want a regular notes page. So maybe I want something that looks like this that's already set up for notes, okay? But in my case, and what everybody's been asking about, is everybody wants to know how to do those daily pages, okay? So here's my Franklin Planner daily page uh, template that I have. And uh, I have a video all about how I set this up and why I use this. I will link that up above and down below. So we're not gonna talk about how this page is created today, but what I want to do is I want to show you how to set up a page template that you can use in your section, okay? So let's say, yes, this is the template that I want to use, all right? If you look back over here in the templates section, all the way down, almost to the very bottom, it says always use a specific template, okay? And if you pick nothing, you're just gonna get that defaulted blank page that we saw back here, okay? But if you want to use this, um, you know, this daily page, what you need to do down here is you need to click, and again, it will show you all of those that, uh, you know, that you have, and I can go down here and find, 
my daily plan. Let's see, personal notes, Franklin daily plan. There we go. Okay. So my Franklin daily plan is now one of my templates and it says every time I create a page in this section until I turn this feature off, it is going to use this page template as the background. Okay. All right. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to erase or delete all of these extra pages that I was just looking at because I don't really need those. So I can highlight all of them, right click and say delete. And that's going to get rid of everything. And now I have my blank slate to start again. Okay. All right. So the next thing that I want to do is I'm going to insert a table here. So I'll go back to my insert menu and table. And I only need one column because I'm only creating that series of dates that we saw. Okay. And it will let me add about eight and that's where I'll start. Okay. Now there are a couple of ways that you can do this. Uh, so I'm going to show you two ways today. There are more, but I'm going to show you two easy ways today. Okay. The first thing that I want to show you, and I'm going to get rid of this templates um, section over here. So we have a little bit more room. The first thing that I'm going to show you is if you don't want to take your hands off the keyboard and you just want to type, what you can simply do is you could go uh, as you're typing and you can type two brackets, the number one for page, you know, November 1st or December 1st or whatever it happens to be, and then two more brackets. Okay. And when you do that, you will see that it automatically comes up. I didn't have to hit enter. I didn't touch the space bar. I didn't do anything. It made a page one for me. And if I go over here and click on that page one, you see that it is using the template that I assigned it to use. Okay. All right. Now back to our first page. Let's just label this um, index because <laughs> I can't think of anything else and I don't want you to get confused about what it is. So this will be our index page. That's the first one. Okay. The other way to do that, and I'm just going to skip down here just to, so that you can see the difference is, so I'm going to type some numbers for some other pages. So let's say we do three, four and five, and I could go on and do all the way down to 30, 31, whatever it is that I need to do. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to highlight all of these that I've put in here and I can right click and I can go down to link to pages. And when I do that, what it's going to do is it's going to make a new page and it's going to use that template that I told it to use. And it will put the link back here in this column. Okay. So now you see over here on the side, we have page three, four, five, and we have page three, four, five. Okay. And if I click on page three, it takes me to page three in this same section. And it is that template that I ask it to create. Okay. If I hit my back button to go back to my index, if I click on page five, same thing. So you see very quickly, I have already created mm, four pages that have that same template on it. Okay. So using templates is great. Using it for links is great. Those are the two quick and easy ways. Bracket, bracket, the number that you want, bracket, bracket. You don't have to take your hands off the keyboard. Otherwise you can just do the numbers that you want and link to pages. Okay. All right. Now, the other thing that people ask me about is, but that, you know, this looks different than what yours is. <laughs> well, the reason is, is because when I finish my entire row, what I normally do is I come in and I highlight the whole thing and I say, go up here and I want it in the center. Okay. So I want the number in the center of the column and I can make my container smaller. You could also uh, align to the right if you wanted, you know, to make it more look like a tab. That's preference up to you, whatever you would like to do. I tend to like mine in the center. Okay. Um, and then um, what you can also do here is you've seen me do in other things where I color shade the uh, background of the table that I'm using, because it's really a table, a one column table. So if I go up here to my color shading, you know, I could do the background dark orange if I wanted to. That's kind of hard to read. Um, I could also do it in any color that I want. Um, let's see. Uh, I could do this pretty purple. 
Okay, like that. And then you say, okay, well now, but you're, you know, can you change the font color? Yes, you can. So again, I can go in here and highlight that and I can go to my font color. I can make it black if I want. And you still know that it's a link because it has that underline in it. You could do it a dark blue if you want. You could do it whatever, a dark purple, you know, whatever color you think that you want, okay? So color shading is really cool. You know, if you like it light with a, you know, a dark purple, that could be really pretty. Whatever, whatever you think that you want, you can modify it in that way, okay? All right, and that's really it. And then once I have all of those pages linked, you know, let's say I've done all 30 of them, then all I need to do is copy this. Okay, so this is my new list. Because the list that I have over here because it was created from another notebook, these links may or may not work. So just to make sure they all work within this same notebook, all I'm gonna do is highlight that and paste my new list in there, and those are my tabs, okay? And I can just go through and do that for every single page. Highlight here, Control V, and there are my new tabs, okay? All right, well, I hope you learned something new today. Doing links in OneNote makes life so much easier. Uh, I know that the pages are already listed over here, but if you're somebody who likes to work full screen and you don't really you know, like that pages showing up over there, having links on your page to be able to go back to page one and notice that the page numbers or the labels or the titles of the page change with the page numbers that we create, okay? So there's the one that we did for one. There's the one that we did for three. Why did we skip two? I don't know. <laughs> there's the one that we did for five. So the page title is the number that you put in that original column. So having these links on here, especially if you're somebody who likes to work in, you know, full page mode, mode is great, okay? Because you don't have this whole list to get back and forth to. All right? So that's it. Quick and simple. Hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to give me a like. Please subscribe. And here's hoping that you can live a more simplified and organized life through better planning. I use OneNote. Until next time. Okay, bye.